Hello everyone, welcome to Kubia Games. Today we're gonna show you how to play Nine Men's Morris, which is this game. This game is one of my favorites in our collection. Um, if you like strategy competition games, this is uh, one of the best and one of the oldest, actually. Um, it dates back to more than 2000 years ago. Um, it is said that Roman soldiers used to play this to plan their battle strategies. You can also see it in ancient Egypt, etc. Uh, highly recommend uh, to read more about it if you like history. If not, it's perfectly fine. Today we're going to show you how to play this. So uh, let's start with the objective. The objective of the game is to build mills. Um, every mill that I build, I eliminate one of my opponent's pegs. Now, what is a mill? Any three in a row along the, the black lines is a mill. So here, this is just for aesthetics. This is just the demo of how the game arrives. Um, this game has three stages to it. Uh, let's start and see stage one, right? Let's empty the board first. Now, in stage one, uh, basically, again, as I said, the objective is building mills, preventing my opponent from building mills, and eliminating as many pegs as I can from my opponent, and watching my back so they won't do that to me as well. So let's start by, um, let's say it's my turn, I take the black pegs, and I put mine here, and my opponent is yellow, and they put one here, right? Now, my turn, I put one here. I am almost building a mill. Again, any three in the line along the black lines could be a mill. This could be a mill. You cannot form one like this because there are no black lines here. So my opponent's turn is right now, and they can make a decision. They have a decision to make um, whether to block me from building a mill here or to try and form a mill of their own here. So let's say they're blocking me right now. And we keep on going and we keep on playing like this. Now, my opponent build a mill. And now they can eliminate one of my pegs. So let's just take this one for instance. Okay, now this guy is completely out of the game. I cannot play with it anymore. Let's put it aside. It's right there. <clears throat> Sorry. Now we continuing on. It's my turn. Put one here and we keep going now i build one see i have three in a line um i can take i should take one of my opponent's pegs out but i can only touch the free standing peg so that means i cannot break their mill see three in a line this is their mill i cannot break it i can take either this one or that one so let's just take this one right so now they build a mill they can break this one. Okay, so now that we got all the pegs on the board, this is when stage two starts. Stage two, basically same objective throughout all the game. You wanna build mills, prevent your opponent from building mills and eliminating as many of their pegs as possible. So now you can only move one spot along the black line. So I can move like this and I got a mill. Again, I can eliminate one of theirs. Let's put these all aside. I can eliminate one of theirs, and you keep on going like that. They can move one here, and so on and so forth. Now, if on my turn I decide to do something like this, see I move it from here to here, and in my next turn I decide to move it back here, that's a new valid mill. I can eliminate one of their pegs on my turn still. So it's something for y'all to remember. Now, this was stage two. On stage three, it starts once one of the players have only, <clears throat> excuse me, have only three pegs on the board. So right now I have three pegs on the board. Now this stage is optional. You don't have to play it like that. It just adds a little zest to it. But once uh, the player with three pegs on the board 
It's his turn. Instead of moving like this, only one spot at a time, they can jump or fly and move to wherever they want on the board like this and so on and so forth. Again, building mills, blocking my opponent from building mills and eliminating as many pegs as possible from them. Now, again, if this one was out and I just newly formed a mill, they only have mills, right? If that's the situation and there are no freestanding pegs, I can break one of their mills. Now, the game ends when one of the players is left with only two pegs. This instance, it's me. Um, sad. But yeah, that's the game. It's a very fun strategy game. Again, it's very competitive. Try not to fight over it. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And let us know in the comments if you like this game, if you have any more questions about this game. Um, make sure to check out the link in our description box. We have a lot more games, puzzle games, puzzles, puzzle boxes, really everything from fun to frustrating. Make sure to visit us and let us know what you think. We would love to hear from you. See you next time.